Hi, I'm Chris Schleter, Master Gardener, food blogger, and writer. Gardening, cooking, healthy and tasty food is my passion. Welcome to my country kitchen, where we'll cook fast, fresh, with the best ingredients you can find. Come join me now. Next up is Italian Monte Cristo, and it actually does come from the Italian area. Monte Cristo is actually some islands off the coast of Italy, and this sandwich is basically almost like a French toast. So you're gonna put some eggs in a bowl, and I'm just gonna use three today, but you can use as many as you want depending on your sandwiches. If you only have like one or two sandwiches, you can use only one or two eggs. So I'm going to beat up the eggs here. And to this, I'm going to add some heavy whipping cream. You could use half and half if you wanted to. The whipping cream gives it a really nice texture for the batter here. And now, we're gonna mix up kind of a, a spread that you put onto your bread. And for that, I need like a half a cup of raspberry jam. And this is my own raspberry jam, so I like it with the seeds in. You can also buy a raspberry puree without the seeds in if you can't eat seeds. So here's some of that. And to that, I'm going to add, this is some regular um, Dijon mustard, and to that I have a little bit of dried rosemary. You can also add fresh rosemary if you want to. And I'm just gonna put a couple of uh, tablespoons of that in here. So one and two. Now this particular sandwich is made with the meat that is prosciutto, and prosciuttos are really thin. See how thin that is? It's almost like a bacon, but it's very thin. It's a real salty meat, and it's uh, very thin, but it's great for this sandwich. Now you could use uh, chicken if you wanted to. Some people use turkey. You can use whatever meat you really like, but to make it authentic Italian, really use a nice prosciutto. And here you can see I'm having my sauce all mixed up and the kind of bread I'm using is something that you may not use every day it is a toasting bread you can get English toasting bread you can get Texas toasting bread but with the reason I like this kind of bread it has nice large holes in it and when you um, bake this or griddle this or toast it it gets really crispy so it's a great bread to use another bread that works great for this is a brioche bread a brioche bread can come in low, small, or large, and all the difference is is that it has a lot of sweetening in it. So it might have honey or more sugar. It's like a sweet bread, which is great for this because it's got salty and sweet, and that always goes good together. And I'm gonna turn my griddle on here a little bit while we start making the sandwich. So the first thing I need to do is to spread this raspberry puree mustard combo onto the bread. And you kind of try to get it into every side as you can. And you do it on both sides of the bread. And after I have this spread onto the bread, then I'm going to add a piece of prosciutto. And I'm gonna build the sandwich just on one side so I can flip it over on the other side. And onto that, I'm gonna add a piece of, this is Swiss cheese. You can tell by the little holes in there. It's a nice cheese to use for this. And then I'm going to add more prosciutto. And when you get it like this, it's, it's so thin that it has to have something to support it. So that's why it has these little pieces of paper in between the prosciutto. And this is a good quality prosciutto. So make sure you look for one of those. And then I'm gonna put a piece of cheese in between that. And some more prosciutto. It's a nice thin layer there. And now I'm gonna put one more piece of prosciutto on this one. Make this one a little bit of a heartier sandwich. You just peel it right off. And 
fold it on over. And then I need another piece of cheese on there so we get some really good cheesiness in there. Okay, so now all I have to do is just put these two pieces of bread together. And I'm gonna butter a little bit on one side, just a little bit on each side, not too much, just a little bit on this. That will also help it get a little bit more golden too. And then I'm gonna check my griddle, and yes, it's getting nice and warm. And I'm gonna add just a little bit more oil to this, just a little bit, just need a little couple of sprinkles here. And now what I have to do is I need to dip this into my batter. So it is like making French toast. You flip one side and the next, and then I'm gonna put it on this hot griddle. And I'm gonna let that just sit there while I make the next sandwich out of the brioche, because that's a little bit different flavor in the brioche bread, it's a sweeter bread. Okay, so I'm just gonna spread that right on the little roll here. A nice layer. That tanginess with this raspberry really has a nice flavor to the meat, so it's a real fun sandwich to make. And I'm going to add in one side now again, just the prosciutto. And then I'm going to put some cheese, and you can see I cut this one up to fit the length of the bread. And here's my last piece of prosciutto. Add on there, and then the last layer of cheese. And then I'm gonna put the bun on. And for this particular one, I'm gonna cut this in half so I can get it into the batter easier. And this one, I'm not gonna put butter on. This one's got a kind of a butter flavor almost already in the bread. And I'm just gonna put that on to the griddle here. Nice and layered here, nice and full. That's what you want it to be. And now I'm going to get this covered and get them covered so that the one side browns, I'm gonna flip it over to the other side so it browns and we'll be back in a little bit and I'll show you what they look like. Okay, we're just about done with our Monte Cristos. I have a little cover on here. It kind of helps them heat up faster. As you can see, both sides of this are brown and toasty. Okay. And I'm going to put it onto the board here. And then I'm going to cut the sandwich. Thing, but you can see there's the, the, the cheese and the prosciutto is all right in there. It's a really tasty sandwich. Sweet and savory all at the same time. And all you need to do to finish this off is just a sprinkle of powdered sugar. And make it even sweeter. Here's a Monte Cristo and you must try this. Okay, next up we're gonna do a chicken cheddar melt with some apples and a slaw that is made with, this has got Brussels sprouts in it and you can also get this with broccoli. So look for it in your store, it can, has it all mixed up together. It's called like a broccoli or Brussels sprouts slaw. And you can buy either of those and you just need some of that to make this a total sandwich. So the first thing I'm gonna do is make this part and so I've got some of the uh, slaw here. You can see it has red cabbage, green cabbage and carrots in it and I added a little bit of mayonnaise with some yogurt in it. So it has some of that, and it's just gonna make it so it's a little bit of a creamier texture here, so I'm kind of mixing it together. And that's pretty good, so now I'm gonna add to that some lemon juice, some fresh lemon juice. I just need about a little bit over a teaspoon, two teaspoons is usually about in there, and that's gonna give it some little bit of a tang in here. Okay, now to this, I'm also going to add some apples, and I have a Honeycrisp apple here. And I'm going to make this in matchsticks, just like that is. It's all kind of cut up into matchsticks, and that's the same thing that I'm going to do here. So you just basically do slices, and then you're going to do the slices into thin, like julienne matchsticks. And this um, particular sandwich, I'm using a chicken for the meat. 
and the chicken that I'm using is just leftover roast chicken. So it's a good way to use leftovers. And if you don't have a leftover chicken, just go ahead and buy rotisserie chicken. And then you can just shred that off the chicken and you can use that shredded chicken all week long and all kinds of other recipes. It's a really great time saver too. So there is my salad that has the apples and the broccoli or Brussels sprouts, a slaw, whatever you can find. And now I'm gonna turn on my griddle. And you can make this one in the oven as well too. So you can make it either way. And I did put a little bit of spraying on the griddle. And for this one, I'm gonna heat up my chicken a little bit. So that gets a chance for it to kind of warm up through. And I kind of make it a flat on there so it can heat it up nice like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to butter. And I'm using a whole wheat bread on this. It's a great bread to use. Another bread that works really good on this is a sourdough or else like a French baguette. That'd be really good too. But if you get whole wheat, it's a little bit more healthier for you. Get a little bit more better greens for you. And I'm gonna toast that side. Okay. And while that is toasting, I'm gonna show you that the, the cheese I have is actually a aged white cheddar. And it's a really good cheese that is kind of soft, but I, what I did is I grated this. You can buy this pre-grated, but I think it's better if you buy a block and then grate it. And the other thing I am going to add to this is a mustard, and this is a honey mustard. So this is a stone ground mustard. That means it's got little pieces of the whole mustard in there. This is the whole mustard seed. And to that, I added uh, like a good tablespoon or two of honey. And that is gonna be kind of like the spread that goes onto the sandwich. So now I'll check my uh, chicken there. That's doing good. I'll wait till this gets a little bit browner on that side. Okay, so that's pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread this with the mustard. And you can see when you put it on the bread, see how it's got the little kernels of the mustard seed there? That's why I chose this mustard, because really, when you bite into this, you're gonna bite into this, the seed of the mustard that's gonna kinda explode in your mouth with the mustard flavor. Okay, so now to this, I'm going to add a layer of chicken. Then to that, I'm going to add some shredded aged white cheddar cheese. And put as much as you possibly can on there. Okay, now you can see this is starting to get a little bit golden on this side. So I'm gonna leave that on there, but on this side, I'm going to put the mustard and also some of the cheese. So while that is cooking on there, I'm gonna add a layer of mustard on this side. And this particular mustard is kind of a, that sweet mustard, it really makes the whole sandwich taste a little bit sweeter. But it, that mustard in there gives it the tang that a sandwich needs, something sweet and also something that's salty or tangy. And then I'm gonna put a layer of cheese on here. Nice layer. And I want this to melt, so I'm going to put this on there and let that melt. And as soon as that one is done, I'm going to slide this sandwich onto the griddle and we're going to melt this and then we'll construct the rest of the sandwich. Okay, the cheese is melted. This is the chicken side with the cheese. And then this is the side that just had the melted cheese on it. So now all I need to do is just finish a sandwich. And to finish a sandwich, I'm going to throw in some dried cranberries into my slaw mix. It's a good tart sweet thing to add to them. And then I'm gonna carefully put this on top. And you just put enough on here to get it as tall as you possibly can. And then I'll top it with the other half of the sandwich. You can see it's perfectly done. And then I'll stick a little toothpick in there and then when I eat this, I will just cut this in half. And I'll cut it in half so you can see how it looks. And I'll try it. It's a kind of a sloppier sandwich, but it's so good. 
So here you go, you can see the inside of it. It's wonderful. It's got the crunchiness of all the fresh vegetables in there and then the chicken and the melted, melted cheese in there. And then you can serve your salad on the side. So you got a salad sandwich and a salad. Mm -hmm.